guys were set up here at this Burger King. They're currently doing renovations on it, so it's closed. They're doing some redesigning on the building, and we've been tasked with washing their entire drive through area here. Just got out the downstream, and I'm gonna post pre-treat their concrete before we get started here. So can we just slow Okay guys, we're done here at this Burger King location. Um, took us maybe two hours. Um, now we are gonna go eat, relax until 10 p.m. tonight. We were able to get done all those the maintenance stuff I wanted to get done this morning with installing Ryan's soft wash and putting together my surface cleaner as you saw. So we're gonna go relax and we'll meet at the first location out of seven. I confirmed there's seven tonight. Okay guys, it's about 10 p.m. now. I'm heading to the first commercial location and inconveniently it's not raining but it is lightning and thundering <laughs> so you know my company motto is all balls no brains so we're gonna stick with it and we're gonna knock these out tonight hey guys we're here at commercial property number one loaded up show you the place doing the entire exterior of the building and awnings and we're washing all of the sidewalks and the outside eating area over here to the right. And I'm really hoping the rain does not start pouring on us. There's that Burger King we did earlier today, neighbors to this place. <laughs> right here. And then there's a sidewalk that goes behind the building. Ryan just pulled up. Conveniently, I wasn't too sure of this, but this is another place we're doing as well. Literally next door neighbors right to this place. So that'll be able to knock two of them out pretty quickly. And the third place is right there. <laughs> uh, sleep Outfitters, we're doing the awnings right there. So yeah, there three is literally next door neighbors to each other. So that is very convenient for us. Okay guys, when cleaning commercial concrete, it's a little different than residential concrete, it's mostly because the type of stains you're gonna run into. You know, foot traffic stains, grease stains, oil stains, stuff like that. So what we use when we're cleaning commercial concrete is we use two cups of sodium hydroxide beads. Um, you just order this on Amazon for like a hundred bucks for a five gallon bucket, hundred bucks, 150 bucks. Um, you just take a solo cup like that. We're gonna put two full cups in a five gallon bucket, which we filled with water, about four gallons in there. This stuff is extremely caustic, so make sure you wear proper PPE with this. We're not the best with PPE, but even this stuff, we make sure we're good to go. Just like that, two cups of sodium hydroxide. And right before you stir it, you add a little bit of surfactant. We have this, uh, um, Southeast soft wash surfactant, which is probably overkill for this. Um, Dawn dish soap will do fine, but you know, this stuff is even better, I guess. So add a, add a lot of surfactant in there. You want this stuff to be really soapy and stick to the concrete. Then after you do that, you stir it really well. And, you know, the results will speak for themselves. It'll eat this stuff up like nothing. Whenever we do this stuff and we're getting to work, I always feel like Walt and Jesse from Breaking Bad, uh, like the montages of them cooking meth. I feel like that every time we do this. Waste another day, eyes on my display. You say we need a change and I feel that you mean it. You mean it. But you're so right, we're losing track of time. Buying things online and it's not like we need them We don't need them So can we just slow
right, guys, we are done with this building here. Next, we are gonna go to the place right across the street here. Um, this, this little mini mall here. We're gonna take care of them. Um, then we'll see where we're going from there. Guys, pulled out my hose, set up here at this building here. Ryan's setting up on the other side. We'll make quick work of this one. We're doing this little ceiling here, the sidewalk, and around the sign areas. So let's get set up. We're gonna sodium hydroxide the concrete first. Let that sit for 10 minutes. We'll both do it starting from the opposite ends. Then we'll SH the ceiling there, post treat the concrete, get the signs, and move to the next location. Guys, ceiling done, concrete done, and let me tell you, sodium hydroxide beads, they're freaking squared away. They are squared away. They clean up this concrete. There was a couple spots where I was like, oh man, it really didn't do anything. When I was about to go over it with the surface cleaner, because it was really black, like foot traffic, and it just de dissipated instantly when you went over it with the surface cleaner. It really is amazing. Uh, okay, we got, shoot, four more properties. What's up everyone? It is the next day now, and it's around 5 p.m. So one of the place whose awnings we have to close, we don't want to do in the dark and they are closed now. So we are headed to them. We're going to clean up their awnings and then we will see where we will go from there. I'd like to get another place while we still have some sunlight. Um, we were requested to do this after they close. So we'll pick uh, another place that possibly has a closing time. But some of these awnings, I mean, you straight up need daylight to clean these awnings. I mean, I'll explain that to the property managers if I need to, it shouldn't be a problem but the lichen on these awnings when it's dark out you can't see it so i'd rather do a good job than you know and do this one little request for them after they close obviously i'm not going to be careful and make sure we don't spray any customers with you know freaking four percent sh but we'll see we're here at this location doing these awnings right here obviously going to use the super pump soft wash so i'm thinking we'll put this at i want to be here long 5% SH and we'll go to 1.5% surfactant. The smell is extremely pleasant. We put this blue surfactant in there, Southern Swag. And it smells like blueberries, or I can't even tell what it is, but all I know is it's not 5% SH. So that's good enough for me. I don't know if I filmed this, but I basically, I brush all the awnings over every square inch after I SH it. And then I simply rinse it off like this and it, you're good to go 99% of the time. Up here at the Great Cliffs building one more time just to hit these awnings now that there's daylight. I uh, saw there was just a tiny bit of lichen. Probably was going to fall off eventually, but I figured go ahead and finish the job in the daylight here. So re -soap these two awnings, and he's going to scrub them real quick, and we'll rinse them off real quick, and we'll head to the next one. But other than that, this building's looking phenomenal. Concrete turned out great. Um, got all those trim clean on the side of the building over here. See the outside eating area here turned out really nice. Got all that trim cleaned all the way across there. It was really dirty to go here next property we're headed to is a subway right down the road let's go guys here at this building doing the whole front of the building and the 20 the this side of the building and of course it's freaking thunderstorming on us and it's a monsoon outside but money is to be made you can see how dirty this building is we're probably going to wash it with the super pump four and a half percent i'd say get rid of that mold on the stucco and I just took a walk around. We got a we got a juicy spot over here. We got a real juicy spot over here. Holy crap, it's cold outside. This rain is freezing. Right here. I'm gonna take these spots down like nothing. It'll be a cool before and after picture for sure. Water source has been located. Man this rain lightens up i am freaking soaked but we'll get her done due to the rain out here 
We've decided since we are also doing the sidewalk, we walked around on the concrete. There's really no major areas that need sodium hydroxide other than this foot traffic stain here, which you can barely see. Um, so we're just gonna do a standard surface cleaning process. We'll just surface clean and then we'll go do a nice post treatment here at the end. And if that doesn't come up, we may have to sodium hydroxide that as well, but I think that is just mold. So we will see. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the hose and start washing the building. So can we just slow This was a long one right here. Um, it's too dark to really see anything, so I'm just gonna come back tomorrow and I'll take the after pictures and I'll insert those in the video right now. But anyways, we are headed to our next commercial job, which is just down the street. It is a shoe carnival plaza. Um, we're doing the front and side of the building and we're doing all of the concrete. So let's head there. Okay guys, arrived here at this little shopping mall plaza here. This is a super popular spot in my hometown. Um, we're doing from Shoe Carnival all the way down to Sherwin-Williams, washing the front of the building and doing the sidewalk and the awnings here. Uh, so we're gonna sodium hydroxide this all the way across and then we'll surface clean it. Tomorrow when we mix this sodium hydroxide stuff, for the bigger building, which we have on schedule, um, we are going to downstream it. Instead of two cups X-jetting, we're gonna do four cups downstreaming. Um, just a much quicker way of applying, especially when there's a bulk amount of concrete that we will be doing. Oh, you already have a cup in there. Um, yeah. up here guys concrete turned out really good i am so tired i'm going to freaking bed and we will be back to another property tomorrow you guys here last day gonna finish up all the properties today for sure um we only have a few more left so ryan is we're just cleaning the awnings at this place here and ryan's got the old 12 volt out um he's gonna 12 volt these awnings real quick and i will wash them down with the washer after they sit for a little bit All right, guys, I'm heading to Lowe's real quick. I'm gonna need to pick up some more supply hose for the ne this next property we're doing. And we're doing the entire sidewalk around the entire building. Lowe's right by this place. And you can see the front side of this building right there. Stretches all the way along the horizon there. Then it goes that way and then all the way around in the big square. Okay, guys, we're doing the concrete all the way down and around. Drive around here. sidewalk here all the way down and around here where Ryan is mixing the sodium hydroxide that we are going to downstream on the concrete way too much concrete to x-jet all of this Of concrete folks. This 
skywalk, the sidewalks up here are not skinny. This is a nice thick sidewalk. And then finally around here to the front of the building where there is a steakhouse restaurant. So definitely have to use a hot mix of hydroxide there. walking through here on this back side of the building trying to find a, a water source here Ryan said he went around and checked but we're just going to double check to make sure it really save us a lot of trouble if there just happened to be one other that worked at the other end of this building yeah we're going to definitely hydroxide this I already explained to the property manager that like some of these awkward stains obviously are not going to come up um so that's a good way to set expectations there. You always want to set expectations, especially with concrete, because you never 100% know the outcome. <clears throat> Pulling Ryan's hose on this far side of the building. He's got 300 feet of hose pulled out. So we're stretching pretty freaking far. He's gonna X-Jet about four cups of sodium hydroxide, real hot mix. Um, all the way down. The Grand Point Center's right there, which is a popular restaurant around here, I guess, or venue, meeting spot. Um, so they have a lot of grease and oil stains and foot traffic stains along. And you know, there's just a lot of like awkward, awkward stains on this front sidewalk here under this canopy. Just notice these benches here are padlocked to the freaking concrete. So we're gonna have to just work around them. And the trash cans are as well. So you guys can see when this hydroxide sits long enough, it starts to break up this mold, mildew, and this deeper grease and foot traffic stains, stuff like that. There's already a whole bunch of awkward stains that was down through here. I haven't even surface cleaned yet that have just dissipated. So we'll see what it looks like after I surface clean it. We are up in this top right corner. I'm on the other side of the building over there. I'm gonna finish the last section there and Ryan's gonna finish the last section here. My definition of what is like a hard day has officially changed after this last three days. Like what is difficult is a different definition in my book now. You guys ever see Dragon Coochie? Well, now you have. Uh, all right, yep, I'm tired, but let's get to work. Also learned is working at night just freaking sucks in general. Like, I feel like we are two times, three times more efficient in the daylight than we are working at night. And you know, there's many factors to that, but I just feel like a slug moving here at night. But you know, we're just gonna put our heads down, trudge forward and get the job done. And, yep, six. Instead of X-jetting this last bit we have, we're just going to save us so much time and and freaking solution hydroxide beads uh, by downstreaming it. We're just going to add more cups to the mix to make it a hotter batch. And then we're going to downstream all the way there. Right up here is a spot that I've been very curious about. This is right of the door of this restaurant, the steakhouse. So a lot of grease and oil and black foot traffic and stuff like that. So we coated it in hydroxide and I'm very curious to see how well this comes up. I don't think it's gonna come up all the way. This is really black and it has been here for years. Um, but let's, let's just see. came up way better 
than I thought. I'll put a before and after picture up right here. Well guys, last part of the building now. There to there. That's all we gotta do. And I'm gonna keep it honest with you. It's roughly four o'clock in the morning. There's one more thing we have to do after this, which I, we were just gonna come back tomorrow and do. We worked three days straight. Like I'd say we probably worked 60 out of 72 hours these last three days. Um, Cause even like the Saturday when all the footage I filmed is not all the jobs we've done. We've had some residentials we've done in the daytime before these night jobs. But there's some awnings that we have to do, which we cannot see in the dark. It's the last thing we have to do, dead last thing. So it's already four o'clock in the morning. So we're just gonna wait till daylight and we're gonna go knock those out. Then we'll call it a night. Well, let's hammer this out. Also, I only smoke cigars in celebratory occasions or rough nights. I'll let you guess which one this is. everyone it is 6 a.m um i think i'm gonna call it a video here we're gonna head and clean those awnings this front concrete section turned out absolutely phenomenal that was some of the worst foot traffic stains i've ever seen and we got that up almost 100 percent. so that's that's good news uh, me and ryan's gonna line the trucks up for a company picture of course um, but i appreciate you guys for watching please like and subscribe see you next time